Let's take a look now at our community calendar. The Community Blood Bank is experiencing excuse me, a shortage in blood. They say the reason for the shortage is due to the holiday, but also because some people who are donating might have had the flu or maybe because of this cold weather they don't want to leave their house. And um, they say that they're holding a blood drive this Monday, January 28th. It's going to be at St. Bernard's Catholic Church located at... 95 East Corden Street from noon to 530. So if you want to give blood, you should go to that event. Jeff. If you're watching us in the Bradford area, great opportunity at St. Barnard's Catholic Church in Bradford. Now, if you see news happening, you can be a WVTT tipster. Call us up 716-372-9564. You can also reach out to us via email. That's news at colonialme.com. You can find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WVTT news or follow us on Twitter at WVTT25. A sewer blast caught on camera, history on display, and a celebrity wrapped, gotta make sure I'm reading this right, a celebrity wrapped in sugar. The video that will have you talk, can't wait to see this. The video that'll have you talking, it's right now, and take a look at this. Take a look at this. A sewer explosion rocked a neighborhood in China Wednesday. Surveillance cameras on various buildings captured the blast. No one was injured, but there is significant damage to the area. If you're a history fanatic, check this out. One of Abraham Lincoln's signature stovepipe hats is now on display at his presidential library and museum in Illinois. Historians say Lincoln wore this hat before becoming president. He bought it in the 1850s. It was from a, a well-known hat maker in, in Springfield. It's made out of beaver fur, uh, very warm, good for uh, you know wearing around the prairies and the cold, drafty days. The hat will be on display for six months. And take a look at this. Lady Gaga has never looked sweeter. The owner of a bakery in Phoenix made a life-size cake in the superstar's likeness. This crazy concoction weighs 180 pounds. There's a wood structure that's up through her and um, dowels, um, PVC pipe, um, lots of wood um, structures coming up so it helps the cantilever of the hold the weight of the cake. The cake was in honor of Gaga's concert in Phoenix Wednesday night. It won't go on sale, but will be on display for fans to check out. For Take a Look at This, I'm Elizabeth Corridan. They, they don't really put her in the oven, do they? I, don't, I hope not, <laughs> but you know, it doesn't surprise me if that really was Lady Gaga covered in sugar. I mean, she did wear raw meat. Yeah, that's remember? that's right. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you, you go from the roasting pan into the oven, or was that frying pan into the fire or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> little certain Hansel and Gretel-esque. Oh, uh, oh, of course. Um, uh, you know, deal going on there as well. Let's take, let's get out of this and take yeah. a look at the WVTT Severe Weather Action Team forecast. It's sponsored by Carpet Town Carpet One. Let's check in with Chief Forecaster Rod Tanner. As we head into the evening, it'll be mostly cloudy with lows around zero for the area. We'll have wind chills between 5 and 10 below. Friday, we'll wrap up the week with snow in the afternoon with accumulations of 1 to 2 inches. Highs will be in the mid-teens with wind chills to zero. Heading into the weekend, Friday night, snow is likely. Our low 17 for lower elevations, around 10 for higher elevations. Saturday, look for scattered snow showers for lower elevations. Morning snow is likely for higher elevations. Our afternoon high should be about 20. Saturday night, we'll have scattered snow showers, mostly cloudy skies, and a low of 16 for lower Elevations, 8 for higher elevations. Sunday will wrap up the weekend with a party sunny day. Highs will be in the low to mid-20s. Monday will start the week with a chance of snow showers for lower elevations. There's a chance of rain and snow for higher elevations. Highs will be in the low to mid-30s. I'm WVTT, Severe Weather Action Team Forecaster Rod Tanner on WVTT. Depend on it.